quick video. I know I talk about this stuff a lot, but I, I feel it's very important. And I don't think a lot of people get it. Not saying people are stupid or whatever. I mean, that's for you to say for other people to figure out. I'm just, I don't think people get this because they've been indoctrinated. And they've been in this K through 12 system, indoctrination camp, and then throughout their later on, like universities, television, whatever, they're still being indoctrinated over and over unless they try to get out of that. So that's why I, I hound this. And it's a, it's a big deal. It's a huge deal. And if you start thinking about it, people start thinking about it, it starts to make sense and you start to ask these questions. So anyways, now, cash, people hold cash. And by cash, I, I'm talking these digits, digits in their bank accounts, digits that they have in 401k and their IRAs and their pensions, these, these digits that they save, if you want to call it saving, those they, people hold that cash options, cash, mm -hmm. cash things, things that things that are valuable only because they're cash based, quote unquote value, quote unquote cash based. So, anyways, I just want to go. You know, just think about this. No banks um, hold cash or digits, or stocks or bonds. No rich, wealthy people hold cash or digits or stocks or bonds or anything like that. Um, no real politicians, um, no heads of state, no leaders of um, countries hold cash or digits or stocks or bonds or anything along those lines. They don't. It just it does, doesn't happen. They don't. Why is that? Because there's no value in it. It really has no value. It only has value for the, the people, for the society, for the underlings, if you want to call it. So they can play their monopoly game and they, they can just play. And with this fake stuff, while we take and take and take it, and we really own all this stuff, is their thought, and that's what they're doing. That's what they've been doing for many, many decades. That's what they can continue to do, and people don't know it. They're playing with this paper, these digits, these things that don't have real value, and they think they do. So anyways, the reason they have no value this cash or digits it's because you can print them and they get printed they, they just get you know buttons on a machine and just get added out of thin air there's nothing behind them there's nothing back in them there's nothing real you can't show me your your bank account that's full of digits it, it, doesn't, it doesn't exist I can't touch it I can't hold it you can't touch it you can't hold it. it's not real but I can see this this wealthy person's home I can see this wealthy person's this wealthy person's company that he owns. I can see this wealthy person's gold and silver. I can see this wealthy person's but fill in the blank. Type of deal there. So that is why central banks don't hold cash, don't hold digits, because they're they're part of the process. They're part of the printing. They're part of the, the duplication, the counterfeiting. They're creating more and more digits. They know it doesn't have real wealth. They had no has it has no real value. So like again, like I said, think about it. Digits are not, or in cash is not held by politicians, by the real wealthy, by banks, by etc. And why is that? Because what I just said. Think about it. Instead, they hold land. They hold rights to access of things, water rights, that kind of stuff, uh, mineral rights, drilling rights, rights for drilling oil. They just own rights. They own land. They own real things. They own businesses, like Ed said. They own corporations. They own gold. They own silver. They own major, major, whether it's, they own partial universities. They own, they own the things, the big things that people rent. They own the huge things that you and I and, and all the underlings that they, they call us need to rent. Sort of reminiscent of you own nothing to be happy. Well, if you own nothing, I own nothing, most everyone owns nothing, someone has to own it. And that's what they're doing. And that's what's happening. So, I, I just, I am just saying this. I, I just want you to think about it and say, hey, maybe, maybe, just maybe, if I don't have any gold or silver, if I have nothing, maybe I want to buy an ounce, get an ounce of gold. Maybe I want to buy a couple ounces of silver. Just get started. You want to buy these real things and look at them and feel them and, and just think about it. This is, whether it's an ounce of silver or an ounce of gold, ounce of gold, we'll say. This is over $2,000. It's $2,300, something like that, $2,350, whatever it is. This, this is the value versus 
my digits in my wallet or my ledger or on the computer, it says I have $2,350. That's not real, but what I'm holding my hand, this is real. This is real. I can go anywhere in the world and get something from this and, and survive and purchase stuff. Same with the silver. Same thing with the silver. And I'm not just talking about gold and silver. I'm talking if you have real land, you have real assets like that, it's real. These digits do not exist. They're not real. That's all I say on this, but anyways, hey, thanks for watching. If you like this, like, and subscribe. As always, stay vigilant, protect yourself, family, to help and protect your wealth.